Welcome back. It's another weekly forecast. And this is for the week of, I'm going to get this right this time, June. I'm going to, you know, we're filming this on June 18th. I'm going to say June 18th through the 25th. That's a full week. And correct. Right, Sophie? But we're starting, we usually like to go Monday to Sunday now. You know, <laughs> We go Sunday yeah. to Sunday. Well, the, the numerology does start today. Oh. So the weekly numerology actually starts on Sundays. I guess I never clarified that, but um, it does start on Sundays. Okay. And this this week, we are in a seven, which is actually the most spiritual number besides the 11, right? The 11 is like this cosmic, mm. psychic vibration, but the seven is a much more grounded, introspective, philosophical energy. So I always like to think about Bruce Lee as being like the quintessential seven where he's like so wise and so spiritual, but in an extremely grounded way, right? Mm -hmm. Like if you ever see his quotes on Instagram or, or videos or anything, he just, he has his feet firmly planted on the earth. Right. And that's really what this next week is going to be about. It's going to be about going within. It's going to be about being in your own energy and your own space, right? Like the seven is the number of, um, the solitary individual. It loves to be alone. And that's because the, the seven is the wisdom seeker. It's the philosopher. So the seven knows that the, the wisdom that we're looking for is within us, right? Mm -hmm. So all we have to do is quiet the outside noise, sit with ourselves and get in touch with what is that gut feeling telling us? What is that inner knowing that's trying to emerge, trying to tell us like, what are we meant to get still in order to hear so that then we can make like certain changes in our lives that we need to make. Um, it's also a number of knowledge gathering. So this might be a week where you get like really interested in a topic or really interested in, I don't know, anything like it's the solstice this week. Maybe you're like, Ooh, I'm going to like spend an hour researching. What is the solstice? Right. Mm. Um, or it could be a time where you're really drawn to more esoteric or occult, um, studies like Reiki or acupuncture or astrology, right? Whatever is kind of like tickling your fancy this week, definitely explore that. Um, and again, this, this week is going to be about embracing stillness and embracing silence and, and going into a place of, you know, meditation and, and mindfulness. And if you can, I really highly recommend connecting with nature as the mm. seven is very, very much about that as well. Um, and yeah, like engage in like soulful conversations, anything that's lighting your soul up, um, follow that, right? Like soulful connections or going deep into a certain topic with a loved one or watching a documentary that really lights you up, like whatever it is, it's really time for you to kind of like take a step back, get a little bit organized, get in touch with, you know, who you really are at your core and what you're working on and, and see where you go from there and, and where that takes you. And I just want to say from like my end, from like a personal uh, perspective. And I actually was speaking to my friend Emma about this this morning is that lately I've really been questioning, like, why am I doing the things that I do? And not in like a negative way of like, Oh, why did you do that? But more in like a, huh? Like how I spend my time. Is that truly how I want to be spending it? Mm -hmm. And if it's not like, what adjustments do I need to make? Like, you know, are all my friendships lighting me up in the way I want to be lit up? Um, is where I live lighting me up how, in the way I want to be? Or what about my career? Like, what are the things that I really love doing and want to continue doing versus like, what are the things that maybe should go? And I think that's a really good place for everyone to start this week and, and maybe contemplate is like, why are you doing the things that you're doing? And is it truly fulfilling you on a soul level? You know, yeah. your relationships, the foundations in your life, like, what you're engaging in on a day-to-day -day basis. It could even be like the food that you eat, right? Like is the food that you're eating on a day-to-day -day basis lighting you up? There's so, a lot again, of like evaluation energy yeah, going on here. Exactly. Yeah. So that's really where it is, but it's more of like an evaluation on a soul level. It's not mm -hmm. meant to be from the mind. Yeah, It's meant to be more like, what is my gut telling me? And honestly, like, you know, Sophie, and I'm sure anyone mm -hmm. listening that like, our gut instinct 
don't align with our rational minds. A lot of the time, actually, mm-hmm. like your, your gut instinct, which I would say is your intuition tells you to do things or go places or engage in things. You're like, that doesn't make sense. I should be spending my time doing this. Yeah. I yeah. should be going here with these people and blah, blah, blah. But again, it's about like your inner guidance. Like it knows. Yeah. Right. So it's about and, tuning into that. Yeah. And oftentimes it's interesting because a lot of my clients are like, I'm so confused. I'm so confused. And I'm like, you're not confused. You're <laughs> conflicted. Yeah. And so that energy sometimes there's feels, a difference. Yeah. That energy of I'm almost receiving the seven energy is like, you are conflicted and you need to go inward and mm. make your choices based on that inward energy. And sometimes that might yeah. feel really, that is going to feel conflicting. So, but, but it's that. also like a, a deepening of like your inner mm. knowing too, right? Yeah. Cause it, like you said, like we all know the things oh, that yeah. are truly aligned to us. Mm. And so it's about like, this week exploring some of the truths that you know in your body and, and really being like, okay, how can I embody that now? Mm -hmm. Now that I've had the realization that like, Mm -hmm. maybe I shouldn't be doing X, Y, Z, whatever it is, how can I actually embody that wisdom and that knowledge? And I think that's a really good goal in the seven, right? Because it is that earthly grounded spiritual energy. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. I'm curious to hear if that aligns with the astrology of this week. It because- really does. I mean, you mentioned- <laughs> They the- always do. They always do. No, You mentioned the solstice, uh, mm-hmm. which is happening June 21st. Wednesday. And Correct. the solstice yes. is, for those of you who don't know, it's really the point of the year where the sun is either the highest or the lowest point, And it's either the longest day or the shortest day, depending, depending on, on your hemisphere. Hemisphere. Yeah. So it's either going to be the summer or the winter solstice, wherever you are for you. And it really, it marks the halfway point of the year. And it really um, marks the point of evaluation and like, hey, like you need a balance, rebalance what's going on in your life. So it's a deep point of reflection of because half the year has gone by, which is so crazy. Um, oh my God. Yeah. Cause this is the start of summer, mm-hmm. right? The solstice is always mark the start of that season. Right. Yeah, so like now exactly. we're going into summer where the winter solstice marks the start of winter officially. Exactly. So it's really a time to evaluate like, Hey, you've gone through half the year. Like, what have you done? Is this an alignment? And mm. are you in balance? Are you in, do you have peace in your life? And then if the answer is no, what do you need to do? What, like it, and that's why all, you know, like this is a, a really good. Whoa. Something just happened with the screen where you got really sped up and delayed and I was talking and then, whoa, <laughs> well, that was... interfering. They don't want us to talk about the solstice. <laughs> oh my goodness. I was like, wait, what just happened? I wonder if it recorded that way. Um, what I was going to say though, I feel like this is a really good time since we're at that like halfway point mm-hmm. to really reflect, like I was just saying, but you know, in the energy of the seven, but it's also like, what are the goals you've accomplished in the past yeah. six months? And like, what do you want to accomplish in the next six months while we wrap up this year? Yeah, for sure. And like, that's what the solstice is supposed to bring. And I, the act activity I actually always recommend is to spend a little time to really reflect on what have you accomplished and what's still left to accomplish. And number that, like, not only that, but like, are you, is this what you really want? Because it's okay to change your mind and be like, you know what? I Mm. don't think this is the path I want to go down. Like just (laughs) kidding. It's okay to have those moments. And we both had that this year. (laughs) No, like a lot of that. Um, A lot. (laughs) So, you know, that actually, that seven energy really aligns well with the solstice, um, which is really midweek Wednesday. June 21st. And it's also a really great time to do some spring cleaning. So when we clean our environment, the environment we're in is an energetic space that we are little bodies are in that space. Most, you know, your home, most of the time, if not all of the time, you're sleeping in your home, you're spending time in your home. And so it's also a really good practical thing to do is to like literally clean out your junk. And that can, in a way, if you're feeling like really nervous or anxious about like even just going through the exercise of like evaluating, because sometimes it can be daunting 
start with just cleaning the space out of like the things that yeah. you don't need in your life. And and that creates space energetically really for things does. to come into. Honestly, it's so funny you say that because like two days ago, I thought to myself, you know, I really just want to get organized in my apartment mm -hmm. and in like a new and like yeah. really intense organized way, right? Like go like full Virgo on this shit. Yeah. <laughs> um, but also I'm moving soon. Right. So I'm like, mm -hmm. should I just like start now organizing? Mm -hmm. So I love that you're saying this. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, because I think that there's, this is the point of when you should be doing that. You should start yeah. that. It's the energy is really good for that. And to get that, um, you know, that contemplative energy moving, if you're like, Oh, I don't want to do the daunting steps of writing it all out and really have to look at my life. Well then start with just organizing your kitchen or your closet or whatever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> your drawer, just start with one drawer if that's like too much, but that's like, um, astrologically like the big one you know we just we're actually filming this on the new moon in gemini that's right baby so um uh, it's it's really a great start new moons are all about new beginnings so it's a great start to setting those new intentions which obviously when you set new intentions it's going to be a very seven kind of reflective energy mm -hmm. and so we start the week off with this new moon in gemini um, and it's this setting of the new intentions. It's Gemini energy is all about like ideating communication, specifically the lunar mansion it's in is Migrisha, Mig Migrisia. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Um, and that's really the star of searching, which kind mm -hmm. of goes with the seven, which is that inward introspective. We get to the solstice day, which is Wednesday midweek, where we're all about the rebalancing, recalibrating, really like sweeping out the stuff we don't need, calling in the new energy and like really evaluating, is this the pathway I really want to go down? We still wow. have a full half year left. Is yes. this really what we want? And then actually wow. we end the week with sun trine K2. The sun is our ego. Trines are all about advantageous optimization kind of energy. And then K2 is the south node which represents past lives, past events. So it's almost as if you're reconciling maybe the previous versions of yourself, um, previous things that have been living in your subconscious. And mm -hmm. it's in a way informing of the new identity, new intentions, and just forward, like moving forward, who are you? And so you have that energy June 24th. So you might have- wow to really, you might have a come to Jesus moment at the end of that end of this week where it's energetically, you're feeling really good about moving through this new pathway, but it's this converging energy of like the past, the present, the future. And like, we've kind of been talking about this actually a lot coming mm -hmm. to a full, full culmination, June 24th with the sun trying K2 energy. Um, on June 24th. So that's really astrologically what's going on in conjunction with the seven energy. And then, yeah, that's until Saturday, right? Yeah. Cause yeah. Now we're doing Sunday through Saturday. That's okay, cool. That's very, very on point. You know, it's so funny too, because I was sharing with Sophie that I, I'm going back to my parents' house in North Carolina and I have like a ritual that I was going to like mm -hmm. kind of do while I was there, um, like kind of like a closing ceremony for my own inner peace. And Very I was like, seven. oh, it's the solstice on Wednesday and this is perfect. Mm -hmm. And now hearing that it's also sun trying K2 on Friday, I'm like, wow, I'm just like, I'm so ready to let go of things and, mm -hmm. you know, kind of be the the snake shedding its skin so to speak this week, that's kind of the intention I'm setting for myself. What about you, Sophie? Um, you know, for me, I've been on this journey of like, where do I want to live? Where do I want to live? And it's interesting because I'm meeting my business partner in London this week and it's going to be really wonderful catching up with him. But I think we're going to have a lot of deep, soulful, um, realignment and mm -hmm. conversations. And I think, it's going to be really productive and really positive um, to kind of move really like I I'm doing a lot of this like evaluation of the pathway and I've had yeah. all these previous 
previous pathways that have been traveling down. And now it's time to like really evaluate. And so for me, the solstice really represents marking the halfway point of I've really had taken the time to think a lot about how I want to live out the rest of the year. And so finally, having the conversations, having the intentions and setting those with my business partner and really getting reflective is definitely a big part of how I'm spending my solstice. Amazing. Mm -hmm. I'm excited for the week. After the past two weeks, I feel like we can handle anything that's thrown at us. <laughs> so I'm ready and I'm excited. And as always, thank you for sharing the Astro and we will be back next week. Have a good week, everyone. Bye.